Hello guys, this is Saifuddin Ghanizadeh. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will be showing you how to install Windows Server 2008 or 2. But first, intro. Welcome back guys. Let's continue the installation. For the purpose of this installation, I will be using VMware Virtual Machine. Let's go ahead and create a new virtual machine. I will use the typical and recommended configuration of VMware. Here you can either choose to install the Windows Server from a CD drive or from an ISO. I have the ISO file so I will go with the second option. Click on browse and choose your Windows Server ISO. Click on open. Then click on next. Here you have to manually enter the Windows product key. If you do not put the Windows product key you have to manually enter it later and you can activate your windows after the installation is completed click to create a username i will give the username check for all the password will be admin if you check this option it will log on automatically and if your username contains a password it will ask you for the password but i will not do it since i will be creating manually lots of usernames so I will not check this box and I will manually select the username and enter the password. Click on next. Here it's giving me a pop-up message that I have not entered the product key and I have to manually activate the Windows Server later. That's okay, no problem. Click on yes. Here you can give your Windows Server a name. That's okay, I will stick with it. I will leave the location as it is. Click on next. It will be using 40 GB of my hard drive, that's okay. It will also be using 2 GB of my RAM as it's showing here, that's okay, no problem. Click on finish. For those guys who is installing manually on a server or on a desktop, you should follow me from this step. Power on the virtual machine. Here you have to choose which kind of Windows Server OS you want to install. I will go with the standard version, full installation. Click on next. And here it goes. It was very simple. Let the Windows to be installed. We will continue after the installation is completed. Here Windows Server needs to restart in order to continue the installation. It is updating the registry settings.
Welcome back guys, here as you can see Windows is completely installed. That's it. It was very simple, wasn't it? If you have any problems, comment down below. Also don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.